Okay, uh, part two of the rest of the amino acids that we need to have memorized. Uh, we're going to start off first with the aromatics. Okay, so the aromatics TRP stands for tryptophan. Uh, the way I remember this is if you look at the residue, um, you know, you always hear about tryptophan content in turkeys. I always think that this thing kind of looks like a turkey to me. See, the NH is like a beak. Right here is the eye. And then all you have to do is add like, you know, your little feet there. Um, yeah, it looks like a turkey to me. So tryptophan, that's how I remember it. Uh, tyrosine, I think of the word tire. Although this would make a pretty terrible tire because of the presence of the OH. Um, that would make a not smooth tire. But, you know, tyrosine, you should think ring. Um, just keep in mind that there is an OH attached to it. And then uh, phenylalanine, P-H-E, is literally just a phenyl, or sorry, not O, but Y. It's a phenyl ring plus alanine, okay? So yeah, those are how I remember the three aromatics. When it comes to the other two ones, the random, I call these one random because they don't really fit into any specific category. Uh, proline, right? There's a five-membered ring. I think pro, pentagon, I associate the two Ps together. When it comes to methionine, M-E-T, okay, um, look at the chain. One carbon is meth, two carbons is eth, and then the presence of a sulfur between two carbons like this is a thio group, okay, or a thio ether, okay? So you notice M E T, and then you end with an M at the end. And the reason why that was helpful for me to remember it is because the one letter abbreviation for methionine is M, okay? So meth, eth, thio ether, followed by an M, helps me remember how many carbons are present. Your acidic and your basic residues, they're very related to each other, so aspartate and um, asparagine and then also glutamate and glutamine okay um, the only difference is you know one carbon versus two carbons and then also when you go from ASP to ASN we add a nitrogen or from GLU to GLN um, you know you just add a NH2 at the end okay and let's see two carbons one carbon Last one, or last couple of ones are lysine, okay? The way I think about this with lysine is you have this NH3 plus on there. Also, um, when you spell out lysine, it ends in an E, okay? So what I think about this is I think about this as an epsilon primary amine, okay? And the last one, histidine, I don't really have anything specific to remind you of that but I put histidine under the basic groups because the presence of this electron pair can go out there and get protonated okay technically histidine also is aromatic okay because you have these electrons that are aromatic but the aromatic interactions I don't feel are as important as the presence of this positive charge okay because the positive interactions uh, or the ionic interactions are going to be more important than the aromatic rings interacting with each other. But just keep in mind, histidine is also aromatic, okay? But uh, the positive charge, um, roughly or no more than 50%, um, is going to be protonated at physiological pH, okay? So there we have it, all 20 amino acids. Those are how I remember what the different residues are for each amino acid.